The trout, the trout, the trout in the towers, the wolves of the fish, and they all ran away. The trout, he fought to all the towers, the towers, the towers. Another wall to pray. Two weddings, two weddings brought on by the eddings, the night is good to me. Two weddings, two weddings brought on by the eddings, it all went down to me. The great Jamie Lannister. Kingslayer, oath breaker, brought to his knees by the men of the north. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Go on, it's only blood. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? I'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest, we are just a squire. Why not? You don't give swords like that to pig farmers. I had a hand in it, you know. <laughs> hand in what? Capturing him! He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk he barely made it out of his tent. Next, I'll tell us he caught Tyrion, too. <laughs> so what really happened? Someone caught him, I suppose. That's any man here, and they'll say it was them. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. A hand round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story, which grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. <laughs> Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your job. You do it. You're his squire. It's your job, not mine. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach, and House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> Fetch your cup. Tonight we celebrate. To Rob Stark, the King in the North! The, the King, King in the North! Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard! The gods have favored us. Onward to Casterly Rock! Aye! Death to the Lannisters! Aye! The North remembers! Aye! Aye! Got it. Yes, my lord? I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question of what's to be done with you. It's been on my mind for a while now. With me, my lord. You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? You served me well. To bring honor to House Forrester, my lord. You have more honor than those who were born to it. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire, but you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight. I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. 
Bloody hell. Empty. Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? Yeah, no problem. I have been a squire longer than you. So? I outrank you. You should help me. Fetch more wine, scrub my armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. You'd better watch your tongue, Bowen. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than Norin. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in big shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. But not by much. Don't get angry with me. We're no different, you and I. Aye, but I'm not the son of a pig farmer. My father had dignity. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. All in wine around a fucking wedding. Give it time. You'll get there. Or easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castling at House Forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? It's right over there. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. the others. Good luck. Ah! Oh.
Garrett, did you find Roderick? Speak up, Garrett. I, I tried to save him, but there was nothing I could do. Where's my squire? You didn't leave him, did you? What happened to him? Speak up, boy. I, I had to leave him. I had no other choice. Find a weapon, quickly! Keep moving, my lord. I'd never make it. They'll hunt us down like dogs. Walter Frey says time to Don't <gasps> leave <sighs> Guard this with your life. Return it to Ironrath, where it belongs. There's no time. Damned if I let it fall into the hands of those traitors. Well, the phrase you have to go. I, I won't leave you, you my lord. Can, and you will. My lord, I... By the gods, you will obey me. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those foresters! Foresters! Now go. Now go. On your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those <laughs> fucking foresters! <laughs> <laughs> Lord. Fresh.
Das war's, es, K. Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Let it may be common, but at least still have his bacon. Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <coughs> Father. I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I'm going to kill you. Is that so? You can try if you like. And then we'll feed you to the pigs. Get. Off. My. Land. This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. No. I'll have that sword, boy. Come get it, you bastard. this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. You really are a pig farmer, aren't you? for this. That much I promise. <laughs> Father? Garrett! You survived. Your sister. She hid. I tried to stop them. I'll kill the men who did this. Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Carrot! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the Maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! Ugh! <sighs> 
two White Hill soldiers? And a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Hmm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. It was justice. They got what they deserved. They did indeed. We can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? These are dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. <sighs> Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A Cyric. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of Warcraft. Roderick had already fallen. There was nothing we could do. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. High or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first. To see if you can put any weight on that leg. <sighs> Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. The Ironwood Grove. An ironwood shield. Hmm. The strongest wood in the known world. Hmm. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Maestro Tengren. Look, I'll show you. This might help.
Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. Mm-hmm. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a forester myself. Ryan. Never easy being a fourth-born son. Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. Uh, no. You see there? You're limping again. I'm fine. Really. It's a good thing you've done, bringing that back to House Forrester. By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. That sword has been handed down through 50 generations of foresters. I'll admit, you do seem better than was to be expected. I believe your leg will be fine. Only time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... I'm so sorry. Me too. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He was a hero, my lady. The bravest man on the battlefield by far. Yet he was unable to save his own son. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion, but if you can remember anything... He... he fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? If you can remember. He asked me to return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Roiland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. If not now, when? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads, while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. 
Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart? Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. So, what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But no. This. But I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I've done nothing wrong. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan? Let them come. I don't care. They'd kill you and not think twice about it. It's not safe for you here, Garrett. There's only one place beyond the reach of the Boltons. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong! Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. I'll do what's best for the house. So I'll go. I'm not afraid. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. That settles it then. Settles it then. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. <laughs> <laughs>